A pacifier is a tool used for babies to self-soothe and can sometimes even help a baby fall asleep. The decision to use a pacifier is one a parent should make after considering the benefits and risks of pacifier use. We sit down with Community Regional Lactation Consultant Kelly Holt to talk about how making the decision to breastfeed or use another feeding method can be connected with the choice to introduce a pacifier to your child. In our hospitals with community medical centers, we don't have pacifiers on the floor. After you deliver, they're, they are available if medically needed or um, if we need to do some type of oral function um, or a baby that's really high need sucking. Um, just because we really want to encourage baby sucking and feeding at the breast. Making a decision to introduce your little one to a pacifier goes well beyond picking it out at the store. A baby is not born hungry. They just have a strong desire to be with mom and to suck. And so we really want to encourage any sucking at the breast and not with an artificial nipple. Even though breastfeeding is natural and normal, doesn't make, mean it's easy in the beginning. It is work that both mom and baby have to work with. Breastfeeding versus formula feeding can also become a factor for parents. Uh, breastfed babies do wake more frequently, um, especially in the early weeks, early months. Um, so we want the babies to wake and feed. If a parent chooses to do formula feeding, um, then they might sometimes sleep longer and not wake frequently to feed, uh, just because we know that breast milk is more easily digested. You know, pick up on those sucking and feeding cues. We really want them to wake baby at least every two to three hours, put baby to breast. Anytime baby wants to suck, we want baby at breast. If a parent chooses they want to do a pacifier, um, we really want to make sure we establish breastfeeding first. So ideal, wait three to four weeks before introducing a pacifier. But lactation consultant Kelly Holt says choosing to introduce a pacifier to your child is unique to you and your family. If a child really likes to suck and they can be self-soothed, they can be comforted, um, if, if, especially if the mom is working um, or you're driving in the car and you know you can't just breastfeed from the front seat driving and babies in the back seat. So that is can be a great time to offer a pacifier.